chapter 27. The daughters of Zelophehad, son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, belonged to the clans of Manasseh, son of Joseph. The names of the daughters were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. They approached the entrance to the tent of meeting and stood before Moses, Eleazar the priest, the leaders, and the whole assembly, and said, Our father died in the desert. He was not among Korah's followers who banded together against the Lord, but he died for his own sin and left no sons. Why should our father's name disappear from his clan because he had no son? Give us property among our father's relatives. So Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to him, What Zelophehad's daughters are saying is right. You must certainly give them property as an inheritance among their father's relatives, and turn their father's inheritance over to them. Say to the Israelites, If a man dies and leaves no son, turn his inheritance over to his daughter. If he has no daughter, give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father had no brothers, give his inheritance to the nearest relative in his clan, that he may possess it. This is to be a legal requirement for the Israelites, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go up this mountain in the Abiram range and see the land I have given the Israelites. After you have seen it, you too will be gathered to your people as your brother Aaron was. For when the community rebelled at the waters in the desert of Zin, both of you disobeyed my command to honor me as holy before their eyes. These were the waters of Mirabah Kadesh in the desert of Zin. Moses said to the Lord, May the Lord, the God of the spirits of all mankind, appoint a man over this community to go out and come in before them one who will lead them out and bring them in, so the Lord's people will not be like sheep without a shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Have him stand before Eleazar the priest and the entire assembly, and commission him in their presence. Give him some of your authority, so the whole Israelite community will obey him. He is to stand before Eleazar the priest, who will obtain decisions for him by inquiring of the Urim before the Lord. At his command, he and the entire community of the Israelites will go out, and at his command, they will come in. Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and had him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole assembly. Then he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord instructed through Moses.